So Dre got so, so Dre is about to have a baby. <laughs> she's twenty eight weeks. Pregnant. She's twenty eight weeks, seven months pregnant. And I want to show the image though. I had came. There's no video, but there's an image I want to show. And one thing about this image, which is very alarming. Go um uh, go back. Keep going. I think that's a, that's the father. I believe so. So yeah. look, there's, there's the image, and in the image you can see that there is no man. There's no man there. There's no man there. So go ahead, Hakeem. Your thoughts. Um, before that, um, I want people. Shout outs to Mimi Belmont. I want I want people to look at this. She's thirty nine. She's twenty two. She has a son that's twenty one. She has a son that's twenty one. As a seasoned man, you see, I got my 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 shirt buttoned up up to here, so you can tell I'm an old man. And um, I wear dad hats. Let me put up put on one before I go in. I look green right now. I look green as hell. What I'm looking at doing with a 21 year old? That's my daughter. That's my daughter. Re really, I'm I'm forty something. What I'm doing with a twenty one year old? What a thirty nine year old woman having a baby from a twenty one year old? Now, mind you, now I'm not hating. I know some people like the, I know some people like the young, thick, and sexy. I like them seasoned. Black pepper, lemon pepper. I like my woman seasoned and um fine like wine. I do think there's a morality and a moral compass that we need to start talking. Age gap dating has always been a situation. And I know a lot of people might feel like men do it. Why, why, why are we criticizing women? Here's the thing about this. Drea wouldn't have talked to him because he's a 22 person with a hundred million dollar contract. An older woman dating a younger man, there's no benefit there because you expect to be taken care of. This is why young women get with older men to get the benefits of um, maturity. Finances is there. Nine out of ten times, he's going to die off quicker than you. So you're left with the resources and the legacy and the last name. Now, I'm not saying that things like this doesn't work. But it starts to look a little bit weird, and we start to blend the lines a little bit. And when you say, um, hey. I only saw Joe no her own comment. He said, "How is Joe not considered a predator?" Joya, she is a predator, but she'll never get she'll never get criticized about that. Because you want to know why? We we criticizing things that women do is going to be flipped right back to us. We don't support that shit either, too. If it makes sense, then so be it. You feel me? I still don't think I would allow a 22-year-old with somebody that's 50. You feel me saying? You know what I mean? My mother, my mama and daddy around the same age. I do think it's better. Like for me, I don't know if I could be with somebody 22. Because I, what can we talk about? I, I was listening to Purple Rain, baby. Do you know Purple Rain? Like, you 22. Do you know Nan by Trick Daddy? I'm old enough to say that. You won't know that. Have you listened to, listen, have you watched The Outsiders? What are we going to talk about? But you just had a pep rally four years ago. What can I do with you? 30, 36, 37? Yeah. So, Older, quick question. Most so, cool. so, quick question. I want to ask you. So, her baby daddy's uh, 21? And what, she's 27? He's 22. She, no, 22. she's 38. She's um she's 39. Oh, she's 39. She's 39. She has a son that's 21. Damn. I cannot see. He said, um, what? I cannot see having a baby damn near near 40. You're right. But she listen, Marcy D, she secured the bag with a young dummy. Where his daddy at? Where his mama at? And what he is? He's a ball player. What he? What he yeah, yeah. He's a. 
Man, we talking about this is Jalen um Jalen Green. He's worth over two hundred million dollars. They just signed a two hundred million dollar contract. Oh, Jalen Green. Yeah. He's gonna be he's gonna be a, a and then a, he's gonna be a Hall of Famer. But there's no different with Jalen Brown and the Boston Celtics. He's messing with Bernice Burgos. She has a daughter his age, and yeah. Bernice and him are together. It's well, okay. To me, that didn't make no sense either. I like it. That didn't make no. It didn't make no sense too. But you know, the remember they do it because of the name and because of the hype. So they're like, oh, you know, celebrity value. So that's probably why they do it. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. Like for example, if you was in the industry, I came and you find a girl that you always saw. You're like, man, I, you got the money now. You got the statue. You got the status. You're like, man, I, I want to smash this person. Now you always want to smash. It's the same thing that those guys go through. He said, "He said, um, Hakeem, when entering the strip club, do you check for thirty-year-olds? Facts, I do. I've never listen. I listen. I've always, when I was young, I was dealing with older females. And I'm older. I like to deal with people around my age and older. I can't deal with no girl who want, still wants to pop bottles and go to the clubs. I've been there, done that. And when I did have girls who was feeling me like that, I say, man, they're gonna call me. You with your daddy?" No, no, okay, no. Anthony Edwards doesn't play. Anthony Edwards, he tell the women like, "Hey, I'm not. We not having no kids." We, yeah, he, so, he's straightforward. He's straightforward. But he, here's the thing: I don't. When I go to the strip, when I've been in the strip club and I was meeting few, I always ask them their age. That's the first question. Hey, how old you is? Your demeanor will tell me if you're young or old or not, just by the way certain things we we can talk about. If I mention a song or we talking, you don't know who that is. Okay, baby, time for me to go. Yeah, but remember in the strip club, they got to be 21 and up. They can't. They got to be 21. They 18. If they're 18, that strip club gets shut down. But if you, if you, if you 22, 25, I'm not talking to you. I don't need to, I don't have no business dealing with you. I have no business dealing with you. I'm on a whole different level. Yeah, I'm going to use your ass. You 20 something. You don't got the, the pimp in that gut. I've been out here in the trenches. I know what you like. Yeah, um, the mindset. Yeah, the right. mindset. A forty-year-old some man talking to a twenty-year-old man. You about to get dishragged. I know what you want to go. I'm gonna take you to a fancy place and say, "Baby, bend over." That's that most. Of the, I talk to women my age. I don't talk to women younger yeah. than that. So an older woman ain't gonna allow you to manipulate her like that unless she really likes you. Unless she really likes you and she really wants to submit to a level that. Submit to a level that her friends find it disturbing. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah, for real. Unless she really likes you. But young girls and older men, the best thing we have in common is sex. You're going to do the wildest stuff. At that age, you're not going to be reserved about it. Threesomes, um, um, DPs, um, cream pies, you name it. You with it. But the crazy thing is, like, the crazy thing in, in the comments, a lot of women don't have issue with her getting pregnant by a younger man. Because remember, they see the value of the money. She made, um, she got money now. When you're she so, got a ball player. You're right. When you're so driven by money, your moral compass is off, then that means you'll do anything for cash. I don't need people around me like that. That means that you stand on nothing. Your, your foundation is shaky. Listen. Just like most pastors are shaky and they're able to manipulate the situation and get that. It's so easy in this day because we know what women want to manipulate a person. A thousand dollars cash. A thousand dollars cash. We call that a thousand dollar brick of ones. What makes somebody think twice and be like, baby girl, I got a thousand dollars right here. What you trying to do? Well, someone said in the comment over there in the, um, in the, in the shade room, they say, okay. Man do it all the time. So when a woman does it, now they now they have a problem with it. So so like we said, we don't agree with that here either, too. If the woman's not mature enough to handle that, we want to question say, hey, you know what you're getting yourself into? Because really, best thing y'all gonna have is sexual escapades. Yeah, that's what they're doing it for. That, that, it's pretty much for the mainly for the uh, for the intimacy part. Yeah, that's it. Sexual escapades. You might they get a baby you. out of it. Then by the time he gets older, you could say my baby daddy's 60 and I'm 35. Yeah. 
That's what that's what they do. Remember, that's what they do it for. It don't have nothing to do with the guys mature and this and that. No, they do it because of that. Sexual escapade, and and mind you, and this is why I say that we want to try to teach women to not be so driven by money. And a lot of us who come from impoverished neighborhoods, as far as females, got to know that there's power in you and your femininity and being a woman. Money ain't everything. It's so sad when we see women would do questionable things, and we talk about young girls with older men for some money. A thousand dollars, a thousand dollars cash will make a woman do questionable things. I'm not saying all women, but somebody who's haven't had anybody to provide for them. And they said, baby girl, I got a thousand dollars right here. I want you to go up in here. I want to defecate on you. I want to pee. I want to, I want to have unprotected sex and I want to nut on your face. Remember, no, remember like that movie. I don't remember the movie in the scene of set it off where you saw Jada Pickett Smith in the banker. Yeah. You saw the same thing. The guy was like, she was like, I need some money. And he was like, yo, you already know we're going to do it. And he knew she was impoverished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she went and slept. She went and slept. She went and slept with him. Remember, that was an older man. Of course, that was an older man. Because of the, the movie strike. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, they guys know the best way if you want a quick smash is to get a woman that's impoverished. It's yeah, easy. basically. You can be, mar listen, it's easy to mar marginalize people in poverty. Correct. It's very easy. Yes. Very easy to use and do this. We know this because I've seen this happen right in front of me. Yeah. Facts. I'm listen. All oh, listen. I'm so scarred, ladies, of things that I've seen in the past being in the trenches, and these are the things that I'm seeing that. And, and the guys who've done this, and this to put a caveat onto this, I'm not. We're not friends like that anymore because certain things I'm still thinking about. Certain things like to say that, damn, you can really use her like that. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, and they feel no shame with it either. No, no shame with it. She say, man, bro, we ain't forcing her to do it. But I'm like, man, kind of she in a position that she needs some help. Why don't you just help out and just be a good guy? He say, he say, you sound like some lover ass nigga talking like that. 